ਫੈਡਰਲ ਚੋਣਾਂ ਲਈ ਐਨਡੀਪੀ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਜ਼ੋਰ ਲਾਇਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਮਾਂਟਰੀਅਲ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਸਰਦਾਰ ਜਗਮੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਨੇ ਜਸਟਿਨ ਟਰੂਡੋ ਦੇ ਪਾਲਿਸੀ ਪਲੇਟਫਾਰਮ ਉੱਤੇ ਵੀ ਬਿਆਨ ਦਾਗੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਲਿਬਰਲ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਨੇ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਵਾਅਦੇ ਕੀਤੇ ਸੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਵਾਅਦਾ ਪੂਰਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਇਸ ਮੌਕੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਹਾਊਸਿੰਗ ਪਾਲਿਸੀ ਬਾਰੇ ਵੀ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਸਾਂਝੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਜਸਟ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਸੇ ਥੈਟ ਨਿਊ ਡੈਮੋਕ੍ਰੈਟਸ ਆਰ ਕਮਿਟਡ ਟੂ ਫਾਈਟਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਹਾਊਸਿੰਗ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਸਿਸ ਦਾ ਹਾਊਸਿੰਗ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਸਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਹਿਟ ਹਾਰਡ ਅਕਰਾਸ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਪਰਟਿਕੂਲਰਲੀ ਹੀਅਰ ਇਨ ਮਾਂਟਰੀਅਲ where we know that people are struggling to find a home that's in their budget young people and young families are often considering leaving their community leaving the place where they've got friends and family and connections to go somewhere else because they can't afford to stay that has to stop i want to acknowledge the incredible work of sophie tibo our candidate and how she has been a, a strong fighter for people that's exactly what you get with new democrats one of our proposals is this land right here the peel basin is land that should be used for fighting the housing crisis should be used to invest in affordable housing for people instead of that justin trudeau looks like he wants to prioritize giving this land to a rich developer someone who's got connections to the liberal party that is the wrong priority and we've seen that again and again with justin trudeau he prioritizes the wealthy and it hurts you and your families we believe the federal land should be used towards investing in opportunities to fight the housing crisis to build affordable homes so that people can find something that's in their budget a place to call home that's our priority before closing i want to mention uh, one more thing uh, mr trudeau is launching his his platform today and uh, there has been some hints about what he's going to promise i want to remind folks the liberals have taken this strategy again and again why deliver on things when you can just campaign on it anyways why get things done we can just promise it and finally i just want to talk again about some of the uh, ongoing increased or concerns raised by women that they have raised concerns about sexual harassment and those concerns were ignored by by the liberal party uh, there seems to be a pattern of behavior here the concerns of women in the armed forces were completely ignored the desham report which said very clearly that we need an independent process for women to come forward with uh, serious concerns that uh, that recommendation was completely ignored another example of not listening to women not hearing them out and we're just seeing another more examples of that coming forward and to me that's deeply troubling we have to uh, take sexual harassment seriously make sure women feel safe in the workplace and that's something that we're committed to doing